Hi Cancer, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as an atip or donation to the channel. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. All your support really means a lot to me. So those who support the channel and help it flourish and grow, thank you so much. I love doing this for you guys and I couldn't do it without you. So let's get the messages out to the people that need to hear it. So all your support really, really helps the channel. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Cancer. Second half of September already. Oh, summer's just about done. You can believe that. So let's see what's going on with cancer. And I hope everybody's doing well. This is a general reading. So, but if you can fit it into any kind of situation in your life, whether it's a romantic situation or whatever have you, then that's totally fine. But I will read it as a general reading. Okay, so the zodiac oracle here. Let's see what we get. And if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. As with any reading, you take what resonates, you throw away the rest. Okay. Energies can be interchangeable and swapped in and out. All right. Let's see what we have. Aries. So some Cancerians could be dealing with an Aries in some way, shape, or form. Friend, family member, co-worker, or romantic interest. Or you could have Aries in your chart heavily or somebody you know could have Aries in their chart and I just got the message this Aries does <clears throat> excuse me does represent uh, the Emperor in the tarot so I just got the message that maybe some of you may have to deal with a boss and my throat just kind of may have to speak up to a boss or confront a boss or something like that uh, and the Aries also represents the tower in the tarot, which can be like a uh, a disruptive a disruptive moment, like a ta it could be an argument, a fight, it could be uh, shocking news, it could be a surprise, many things like that. Different meanings. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, depending on what it is. But I don't know. I just that was just a weird message. It just phew, just came that some of you may have a confrontation or something to do with a boss. Hmm. Maybe they're in Aries, or it could just represent Aries, like I said, the Emperor, who is usually somebody in control or in charge, which could be your boss. Okay, so, all right, I don't know if that's just a message for somebody, or if this reading will, uh, will delve into that. I don't know, we'll see what we get. Okay, so first let's get... An energy for you. What's going on with Cancer, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. What does Cancer need to know? What's going on with Cancer, Spirit, please? The second half of September. One card, please. One card. Thank you. Oh, we got two. So, so okay, I'm going to take this one. Justice. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will run, you will win in the end, fair and objective decision. And this is Libra energy, but it doesn't have to be. So again, this is balancing out the scales. This is speaking with truth and clarity, things coming to light. It can be, you know, getting justice, serving justice here. But, um, Something here you'll win, win in the end, fair and objective decisions. So like I said, this may have to do something with a boss or somebody that is a major arcana. So let's see what's on the bottom. So we have the Ace of Springs. So this is a brand new beginning. It's time to take action, be fearless and happy, pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So, okay, just got a message. Maybe... Maybe there was a promotion or a job or a career advancement that you felt you were entitled to or you felt like you were qualified for and maybe they overlooked you. You know, maybe this 
new uh, promotion or opportunity would have brought you um, more money and you would have a brand new beginning and you feel like it was an injustice here because you do have justice with uh, here. So maybe some of you have to speak up to your boss, your supervisor, say, hey, did you overlook me? Or why did I get, you know, passed by in this, you know? So we'll see how that works out. This is fire energy. And that's the Leo Sag Aries. You get more fire under here for spring. Be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. So I don't know. It seems like here that, uh, and now you have two fours here, four of autumn. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. So the four of autumns can, uh, four of autumn, four of pentacles here, monetary, material things, can talk about holding on to what you have, your stability, maybe not giving to others also. And we have two fours here, which is a major uh, message here about your foundation and stability. You know, the four of wands is, you know, about, you know, a contented, happy home life here. And the brand new beginning is there. But for some reason, you have the four of pentacles, which is needing to hold on to your stability. Um, you know, being kind of like holding on, holding back to what you have. All right, so let's get some tarot. Let's see what's going on. What is going on with Aries? Uh, Aries yeah, okay. <laughs> cancer, cancer, cancer. What's going on with cancer? The second half of September. Second half of September. What's going on with cancer? Second half of September. What's this justice about? What is this justice to the how in this Ace of Spring, the Ace of Wands, that, that is a brand new beginning, and that's usually, um, you know, can, like it says there, career opportunities or new adventures, endeavors here, so new beginnings there. All right, so what's going on with Cancer? What's their energy? What's going on with Cancer Spirit, please? Thank you so much. All right, so we have the Six of Swords. So this is the energy of air energy here, of coming out of troubled waters, leaving troubled waters. Uh, you've learned your lessons. You're moving on. You're going into a much more peaceful, balanced place with the Six of Swords your energy there. Wow, so now you have the Palace of Wands. Now this deck has four Palace cards, one in for every suit. It's the only deck that has them and it's very rare that you get them and you have the Palace of Wands. So you have the Five of Cups, which speaks of sorrow, loss, and heart. Water energy there, that's your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now you have fire again with the Leo Sagittarius. So Palace of Wands, that is... Um, Living in a fulfilled place of, you know, being full of passion and excitement and uh, living out your destiny and um, being very stable and secure. Very, you know, fiery energy. Like very, you know, living in a place where you're never afraid to go after what you want. And you're living out your passion. So I feel like here, I mean, this did, this did come out on the top of the pile here, but I definitely feel like with the Palace of Wands here, it's, you know, it's a structure, it's a home, it's a building, it's something, it's a structure. It could even be at the place where you work, where you just, maybe you enjoy where you work. You know, you're very passionate about your job. But like I said, I felt like in the beginning here, you might have been overlooked on a promotion or an advancement or something and you're feeling very hurt over that like how could they overlook me but uh, 
I see here with the Six of Swords that, you know, um, if you do confront or you do speak up, that things will go in a much better place here. And uh, you'll, you know, you place you have the Palace of Wands, so you'll be able to uh, go on with more passion and drive and be in like that total fulfillment in that way. So... Let's get more clarification on this. I just had something flip. So the three of wands. You were waiting for this. <laughs> Fire energy here. You were waiting for that ship to come in. It's like you were waiting for this opportunity, for this uh, promotion or advancement or whatever. You were waiting for it. Wow. You were waiting for it. All right, let's get another one. Get another one. Well, we have two. So we have the seven of coins and the four. So we got the four of wands and the seven of coins. So again, waiting again. Wow. This is, you know, investing wisely and waiting patiently for your investment to flourish and bloom. So I feel like, you know, this is all about work monetary earth energy here. So again, working very hard, diligently at whatever you do, patiently waiting, patiently waiting for this opportunity to come in and thinking it was going to be yours. And then all of a sudden, I feel like it didn't happen. So let's look. We got the four of wands there. Let's get two more for your, and there's your energy with the king of cups, king or queen, and the eight of cups. So... So the four of wands, again, is about your basis, your stability, your structure, your home and family life, commitments. Um, so very being very committed here with the king of cups, your energy, water sign, you know, loving, emotional, uh, compassionate, caring and giving, you know, intuitive. Very, I feel very committed to your work. But again, with the Eight of Cups, that you know, that's an energy of walking away from something not fulfilling. So maybe you said, hey, maybe you stood up and you say, hey, look, you know, you overlooked me. You know, I'm hurt by this. And, uh, you know, I may just walk away from this, you know, because I feel like it's uh, injustice here. So maybe, you know, you had to confront this person and say, you know, for your own. Uh, Stability in your own self-worth, in your own uh, sanity, you had to, again, maybe confront this person and tell them, look, if this is unfair and I may just leave this because it's just unfair, it's unjust, you know. So let's get uh, more clarity on that. Ace of Wands now, wow. Ace of Wands, can we have... One more. And the nine, wow, the nine of wands. Exactly. Standing up and defending yourself with fire energy here. Standing up and defending yourself to this boss or whoever. This is an energy of fighting and not giving up. The wounded warrior. The nine of wands. So fighting. Fighting and moving, you know. Threatening, not threatening, but saying, hey, I'm going to move on here. I'm, I'm going to leave. This is just not right. And then out, out what comes happen here, you get your ace of wands. You get your brand new beginning. So I feel like uh, they probably offered this to you here. And now you have this brand new beginning, uh, ace of wands. Now, you know, at living out your passion, your purpose here, you know, what you truly wanted to do and could be, you know, your work environment. Brand new beginning here. So, wow. Or maybe you did leave for a time. Maybe you said, you know, I need to take a break here. I may or may not be back and maybe they got scared and said, okay, well, here's your new opportunity. Here's your brand new beginning. All right, wow. All right, so let's get more clarifiers here. So now we have the Queen of Coins. Again, you know, working very hard. You know, this is Earth energy, and I know you're a water sign, but that's okay. This should just be your energy. 
knowing your value and your worth, knowing what you're capable of, being smart and practical, knowing you have a lot to give, you have a lot of growth and abundance in you to give, to flourish in whatever you were overlooked in. And again, with the Seven of Swords, hey, you felt like it was sneaky, something sneaky happened where they purposely overlooked you and gave something to something else, something to someone else. This is like a sneaky, deceptive kind of energy. And maybe they thought you wouldn't notice, you know, maybe they thought that you would just overlook it, but you knew, you're, you're smart here, you knew that they were doing this on purpose and overlooking you. They thought you were just going to look the other way and not say anything. You know, keep to yourself. Maybe you keep to yourself and you don't say much. Wow. All right. So let's see what your advice is. It looks like the new beginning, the offer was given to you because you do have the Ace of Wands there. All right. Or you were just expecting that, you know, offer to, to be handed to you, you know, for you to have a more stable um, life with the Queen of Coins energy. You want to make more money. Two of Coins. Earth energy again. Hmm. That's, you know, balancing things around, juggling things around, making choices and decisions for your stability. And there's the King of Wands energy. There's that fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. So, so maybe, you know, here your advice is... Hmm. You know, this is an energy of, like I said, juggling, making decisions, being maybe a little off balance and needing to find balance. So maybe now because of this with your... Boss, maybe things are a little uneasy. They're a little off balance because of this whole situation. Um, you know, maybe they're not too happy about, you know, because you confronted the situation and you brought it to light and you brought the injustice to light to get your justice. Maybe now it's kind of, I'm getting like a uneasy, uh, unbalanced energy between the two of you. So I guess your advice would be to try to balance out the energies here with your boss or whoever it is here so you can have a more peaceful because you have going into a better more peaceful place here so you can go into that more peaceful place so so yeah you may have stress and anxiety now because of everything that happened i mean you have the new beginning here uh you have um the Ace of you have the Ace of Wands twice. I just noticed that. So I definitely feel like here it was given to you, and this could be, um, you no, know, the King of Wands. You know, communication with the Page of Wands, communicating this uh, offer to you now. But this stress and anxiety. So either they were stressed out because you found out that you know they overlooked you, and now you confronted them when they thought you wouldn't. So, you know, or it could be you having stress and anxiety now over your relationship now with your boss or whoever because it's an uneasy, unbalanced sort of relationship. But I think you're going to need to overcome this nervousness and anxiety and try to smooth things out and uh, to show them that you're very creative and passionate and you're a hard worker and you can be a go-getter and get things done to try to ease this nervousness and uneasiness now between the two of you. All right, so let's see what the outcome may be for you, Cancer, in this situation. I mean, you have your two brand new beginnings over here. So, Ace of Wands twice. Wow. All right. So there's the fool. So that's starting over. It's like starting from scratch, starting over, jumping in, leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine, and leaving all the past baggage behind. So I think you you will you know even out the uh, energies here, leave all that um, uneasy 
energy behind the two of you and just start over, start fresh, moving forward with the full energy. And then you have the high priestess. So and that's your energy, Cancer or Scorpio. So you may have to kind of keep to yourself a little bit, uh, maybe keep your distance <laughs> to try to smooth, while the energy smooth out here while you're taking on this new role and taking that leap of faith and having sort of like a new beginning. The high priestess here, it's like you're very smart, intuitive, you know a lot, but it's also an energy of keeping to yourself. So you may have to keep to yourself or keep distance from this until the energy kind of fades away and uh, everything smooths out. All right, let's get one more. The star, so there's the healing, Aquarius energy. You have Aquarius twice here with the fool and the star. So there's the deep healing. So um, faith, hope, optimism, remaining balanced, healing energy. I think things will heal because you have the six of swords of moving into a better place. So things will heal. This, whatever you're doing, you're divinely guided to do whatever you're doing moving forward. I think things will be a lot better. Just remain hopeful and optimistic. And know that you're divinely guided in the per in your purpose and whatever you're doing here. And just let things heal and uh, balance out here with the star energy. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So there's your Ten of Cups. So being totally in happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. So being very fulfilled and happy. Three of coins, again, teamwork, cooperation, um, collaboration, compromise in the work environment. Knight of coins, so again, taking that action and movement and working very hard, moving forward, very practical, stable, and grounded. So I think all this tension and uneasiness will come to an end with the Ten of Swords here. You know, this talks of a painful ending, but I just think all these tensions and uneasiness and whatever here will come to an end because you have the star which is healing which over trumps the ten of swords so all this betrayal if there was some betrayal here stabbing whatever uneasiness hard feelings will all be healed out and smoothed out in the long run with the star energy empress again knowing your value and your worth you have a lot to give a lot of growth and expansion very smart and intuitive, uh, loving and compassionate, birth of new ideas, moving forward. Moving forward very quickly. There's your energy, Cancer. Moving forward quickly, very passionately, balanced, well-balanced, being very successful, going after it and doing it, knowing your value and your worth, bringing new ideas to the table, having growth and expansion, hard times, uneasiness, coming to an end, being totally fulfilled, working hard and compromising and teamwork and taking that action, working hard. Wow. To prove yourself, to show what you have to give, what ideas you have. Wow. You'd be very stable too with two fours over here. Very stable energy. Okay. So let's get... A little extra guidance for you. Cancer. What else do we have? Oh, no. Right, what do we have? Oh, it's too many. Too many. Way too many. What else do we have for cancer? What else do we have for cancer? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to take these. Because we have another four. <laughs> four of wands again. You have the four of wands twice here. And now this four of wands says, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. Exactly. And being very, very stable. Three fours now. Four of wands twice, the four of pentacles. Wow. Magician, so manifesting this new beginning, Archangel Raziel, you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. 
So you have the fool, and then after the fool comes the magician, taking that leap of faith and manifesting this new beginning, using all the tools within you, love, compassion, trust, clarity, communication, stability, passion, and drive, all moving forward. And then you have decision, Archangel Jophiel. Release yourself from that which holds you back and you to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So I believe this is the devil energy. So, um, you know, this is releasing all this toxic energy because it says release yourself from that which holds you back. You need to detox. Or it could be just releasing all this negative energy. And it's unnecessary worry here. And then you have six of Michael. You have the six of swords twice. Wow. A lot of repeaters here. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. So again, going into a more peaceful, harmonious place. Leaving all the troubled waters behind. Wow. So, okay, let me put this up here. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The high priestess, <laughs> high priestess twice now. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, Cancer Pisces here. Archangel Haniel. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that proves, that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Again, peace, harmony will come in time. Be patient. Just do your job. Do your work. Bring uh, that growth and abundance and new ideas into this and uh, everything will be fine you, the, although you may have to keep your distance to keep to yourself from this person uh, aside from doing your job just to help things heal and faster and a more peaceful energy yep Okay, uh, Cancer, I got that message right away uh, before, as soon as I saw that Aries card. It's like, boom, I got the message and then it all came out here. So um, I hope this resonated for you. Best of luck to you. If it didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past readings. I do consider them all timeless. So if the title catches your eye. I'd say watch it anyway. And uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And if you do like how I read and you like my style, please do... Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so please don't miss out on that. And again, you can find all kinds of information down in the description box. So sending you many light, love, and blessings and tons of healing energy. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.